Hey guys, how's it going? R3. I have some exciting stuff to show with you, but first I want to reintroduce um, the Team Nugent frame. And this frame has been around for a year now. We've been racing it as a team everywhere, and it's done rather well. Um, when this was originally designed, we definitely designed this with lightness in mind. And with that said, uh, when we first came out with it, it's actually had 20-20 holes and 30-30 mounting holes. Um, with that said, we've been through so many different stacks, and up until this day, I can say all the stacks 2020 on the market, 4S, 6S, you name it, have not held up. Um, so, currently, most of us are flying 30-30 or 30-20 by using an adapter. So I'm using a 30-30 uh, ESC with a 2020 uh, flight controller on top with a TPU adapter. And while that works fine, the goal of this one was to be ultralight. Um, and to keep the components within the frame, within the streamlined small frame. Um, with that said, first of all, let me say uh, Emacs has always been a community-based company. They listen to the consumer. They have excellent customer service. And I must say that paving the way with the new products they have coming out, they definitely listen to the customer base. They listen to pilots. And without further ado, this is one of the things they're cooking up. And this is the Mini Magnum F4. And if you're already wondering, yes, it's a 2020 stack. Um, and supposedly it can handle 6S. So it's a 32 bit all in one stack, 35 amp, um, runs an F4, it's basically an omnibus. Although I do see incorporated LEDs on there, that's a nice touch. Runs the 6000 gyro. Um, and yeah, I am happy to test this thing. Gonna run it on 6S first because I think that would be an ultimate test, and then I can test it on 4S too. So I do run both high KV 4S and 1700, 1900 6S. Um, the only thing I will be changing from out of the box because it does have nylon standoffs all the way through is I will change these bottom ones out for. And you can find these anywhere. These are the the steel with the soft mount uh, M2 hardware to mount the stack. Um, only reason I want to do that because in the past I know these do break on impact and if I do initially in, in my experience if you put a steel screw for the first set of screws to mount the base you should be good um, and yeah so I'm going to install that into this frame and hopefully I'll get some flight footage to it and hopefully it'll last and not blow up and sustain race crashes uh, impacts through gates and landing on hard ground and we'll see what happens Couldn't wait, met up with the buddies, we flew at a local park, and it held up for its maiden voyage. Um, I gotta say, it flies really well, I put my tune on it, and I'm still uh, reserved on the final verdict. Um, I'm gonna race it this weekend at the Good Time Summer Sizzler Series Race 2 at Open Grove Raceway on Saturday, so hopefully um, some of my next footage will be this kicking butt and the stack surviving. And if it does, it's gonna reset the standard for ultralight race frames. Um, and check this out, I wanted to show you guys. If you do run a if you do run a canopy, it does light up the canopy really well. Um, and if you have the LED facing rearward, that would be a nice chase LED. But yeah, the stack all around was super easy to set up. Um, aside from soldering the motor wires, soldering the receiver wires, soldering the camera harness, and then configuring it through better flight, it was really easy to set up. I love stacks like this, and with the specs that are on this thing, 
hopefully other manufacturers follow suit but I think this might be a secret weapon so until next time thanks for watching um, and hopefully you'll see me kick butt with this guy see you guys